Hey guys, so here's a quick video on how to proxy existing APIs in the AnyPoint platform. Um, it, with the recent crowd release in November, we've kind of changed the process or the flow in which you actually create a proxy. Um, in the past, you would create a proxy within the API manager and then add that proxy to endpoint into exchange. We've flipped that model over where now you create an endpoint within exchange and then you can create a proxy off of that endpoint from an exchange. So let me walk you through the process uh, within the product. It's, it'll be easier to kind of describe that as we go along. Okay, to start off first, uh, let's look at the endpoint that we're gonna proxy. Uh, in this case, it's a GOIP SOAP endpoint that I wanna add um, and proxy within the endpoint platform. So we'll go ahead and copy this address here. Over in the endpoint platform you, you, in here, you can see uh, we're gonna go ahead and skip the design center, right? Because we're not creating a new API. We're gonna go ahead and proxy an existing API. So we'll click on the exchange, uh, navigate to the exchange. Uh, in the exchange, we're gonna go ahead and click on new. And we'll go ahead and give this asset a name. We'll call, call it the GOIP uh, SOAP API. And we'll give it uh, the asset type. Sorry. Uh, we'll use the API spec WSDL. And then instead of uploading a file, we're gonna go ahead and click over here on the right, paste a URL link, right? And this will be the URL to that specific WSDL. We'll look at some additional uh, advanced properties here that you can go ahead and change, but we'll leave these uh, the same for now as the default. And we'll click on publish. Once you click on publish, it's gonna go ahead and create that specific asset within Exchange, right, for this specific, for the SOAP endpoint. Um, it has all the capabilities that you would find within an Exchange asset where you can add in documentation, add additional pages, provide feedback and reviews, add tags, add different versions, right? Okay, so now that this endpoint has been added into Exchange, we wanna now create a proxy off of this endpoint, right? So let's go ahead and switch over to the API manager. And then once we've loaded the API manager, we're gonna click on manage API and we're gonna manage that API from the exchange. For the API name, we're gonna go ahead and search for that API that we just added into the system. We'll click on GOIP SOAP API. You can see that it returns back the type as a WSDL. We'll select the API version as version one We'll also select the version as uh, the asset version as 1.0. And then the managing type, let's go ahead and click on endpoint with proxy. And for the implementation URI, we can go ahead and paste in that WSDL for now. And we're gonna proxy this deployment target to Cloud Hub, okay? We'll click on save. And once we've clicked on save, it's gonna bring us to the API settings page for this API that we're gonna proxy, right? Under deployment configurations, we're gonna select some additional um, options here. Let's go ahead and deploy this to 3.8.x. And then we're also gonna give this proxy an application name. So in this case, let's go ahead and call it GOIP uh, SOAP API. And we'll go ahead and click on update application if it exists and click on deploy. And similar to the previous version before Crowd, it's gonna go ahead and deploy a proxy that sits on top of your existing endpoint and routes you know, request to the specific API to those underlying services down below, okay? So once the proxy is deployed to Cloud Hub, you can see that the screen with an API manager for this proxy endpoint changes a little bit. You now have analytics around the usage of this API or this proxy API, as well as additional links to the uh, proxy in Cloud Hub, as well as the, the ability to view the API in Exchange as well. Um, but all the functionality is there that you, we had in the previous API manager. Um, the layout just is a little bit different here, um, but the idea is still the same. You can now apply policies to your API to control who has access to the underlying data. You can create SLA tiers as well as have client application tracking and also alerts that are tied to this API that you're proxying through the application, right? So down below here, you can see under proxy, here's the new proxy URL. If we go ahead and open this in new tab in here um, and add in WSDL at the end, you can see that this is the web service that we've proxied, um, you know, that we've also added into Exchange as well, okay? 
Uh, if, any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, I'm here to answer any questions you may have.